M0FXB Quansheng UVK5 K6 had a question. How can I keep my display on permanently, add channels and at the same time see the name and the frequency? Also read from Chirp. So I feel that Exuma is a, a good option. I'm just going to show you Chirp now loading my memory channels onto the radio and then we'll go and show you how to load up Exuma. So connect your Bofeng cable and I'll put a link in, but just put it into Amazon, Bofeng UV5R cable or eBay and you're going to find them for about £6. Twin pin connectors just here into your PC. At your PC, right click the Windows squares here, right click, Device Manager and then get your port number. Now I'm going to put all the links that you need in the description. Scroll down, ports and we've got COM11 there, CH340. So we know our COM number, which effectively is our cable connection to the PC. Then if we just close down and start again from Chirp. Now, when you go to Chirp, the easiest and quickest way to get Chirp is to actually click here where the little penguin is, get it. You get the adverts as well. Then go here, download Chirp next build, and then click again, and then run the XE. You will have to say up here on the top right, you will have to say download unverified. You know, there's here, download unverified. Click that, it downloads, then you double click. I mean, I've already done this, of course. Click yes, and then just go next, next, next. I mean, Toronto, they're doing updates every day. My next one I want to do, they, I know they've added the Bofun K61, so I'm going to do that next. Run Chirp. So we've done it from scratch. Move my radios out of the way. So with the cable connected, you just go to radio, download from radio, Select that COM number, remember 11, then Quashang, and then here UVK5, and you get this sort of warning, and click OK. And it just works straight away. You don't have to upload anything, you don't have to modify anything. It's working, and there's our memory channels. And a vast array of settings as well, and one of them allows us to, and you can do it on the radio, of course, to keep the, the backlight on. So if you look here, we've got channel display, look, name and frequency. That's one of the key ones. And then the backlight, backlight time always on. So we've sorted out that straight away. I've noticed that on my radio it went off, so I'm not really sure why. Uh, but anyway, so the next thing is how do we get Exhumed? Go to this link here, it's in the description called Exuma Bin. Click it and it'll just pop it into your downloads folder up here. Just let me move my radio out of the way a bit. So just here where it says down, your down arrow, there it is. Just leave it there. That's one thing. Now you could, I've tried to use it with the Exuma browser, but that link there didn't actually work for me. So I've got this other link here which is called exuma.github.io i don't know why but it works for me it works straight away so all you do move myself around here all you do is go browse select browse obviously connect your radio now to make sure it, you are in firmware mode because i could try it now yeah that has worked but sometimes it won't go into firmware mode yeah, no, that hasn't worked until you unplug the cable. I don't really know why. So unplug, turn off, PTT, turn on. And now see, there's nothing on the screen. Now we're in firmware mode. So you might have to fiddle it a couple of times just to make sure you are in firmware mode and see the nice translucent case we got here. It looks great. But anyway, so now we just click browse. Go to that member there in the download. So click downloads just here and then double click. Exuma, it won't delete your memories. Then click, sorry about that. Then click flash. And then you can scroll up and down in this little window and you're looking for on my one, number 11, aren't we? So go to number 11 and go connect. And it just flashes straight away, yeah? 
And if you look there, you get a, a reading. So to me, this is the easiest way to do it. Now, there is a recommendation that you make a backup. If you do want to make a backup, you're going to need to go to the IJV site, which is just here, and download his, his sort of flashing tool just here called the K5 programmer. This is for the unmodified radio. So it hasn't been, a board hasn't been added. Click that, run that. I told you I'm lazy, so I don't bother, but you should really, if you, if you don't want to, because what it is the parameters that have been set in the radio from the factory, um, they need to be retained if you want your radio to 100% be fine. So if you look here, look, serial port, and then we were 11. So th this is the K5 programmer. And look, you can read the configuration. Have a look now, I just want to make sure. I put the right common stuff. And you can see it's when I turn the radio on and off, it actually picks up, you know, what, what is connected just here, which is quite cool. But normally, if I just click that, it will just read it. But at the moment, for whatever reason, although it's detecting the radio, you don't have to be in firmware mode just to read the configuration. Uh, read, read calibration. Ah, there you go. My prob my mistake. Uh, so it, it saves a file for you. Just go save. Make sure you remember where you've put that and then you can write it back to the radio, the same file. That's backing up your radio. But this again, you know, I wanted to keep this quite simple. So the main thing is we've managed to download Exuma to get those extra functions. If you really want the sort of spectrum thing, just quickly show you before I end the video, but have a little play. That's the main thing with these videos. They're so cheap. You can spend hours playing and enjoying it and enjoy it. Don't let it stress you out. Enjoy doing it. So if you went, so F, get it right. You need to be in VFO. No, actually no, it'll work in memory mode. So you just go to, let's get it right. F5, it starts the spectrum. And then we'll exit that. And because what Exuma has done is he's got rid of the need to do the F thing. So if you want to go into VFO mode, just hold down VFO and it goes into VFO. Hold down, that's number three. Hold it again, that's showing channel and frequency. Same goes to the AB, just hold it down. And a little arrow moves up and down. Of course, you can, you know, set the buttons for the torch and it just got... It's got an excellent uh, flashlight and we'll put it on airband in a sec before we end the video and just let you hear because it's got what they call AM fix. And then you've got the bands here, just cycling. If we go into VFO again, we'll start to cycle through the bands. 1000 megahertz there, 55, 108. That was airband, wasn't it? And it does, it definitely does do airband. 220 megs, 360. 70 sams i'm looking at it come on i don't think it goes below 18 megs that's why people modify but you know these are great as they are so the the other thing we'll do is do the air band oh i should have put a naught in there so naught one three three eight five zero that looks like airband to me. Turn it up. I'll get my external antenna on that and then we'll wait for a plane to fly over the top. So basically just have fun, you know, and it's it's very straightforward. The nice thing about using the flashing tool that I just showed you is that you can do it on your Mac PC, you can do it on any browser. And I might actually do the same video I've just done on my Mac PC just to show you that you can. Okay, bit of air band there. It's a slight distortion, but remember it's FM. But uh, it works fine. And if we put in my local repeater, if I just hold down the memory. Bye for now.